crabs, Dave. What the hell are you talking about? Matt, you have crabs. Hey. Morning, Mr. Smoke. How are you doing today? What? Matt, you got crabs. Can you stop saying that. Matt, you got little, these little crabs all Where? over the gym. Show me. Where? Let's go. Oh, crap. I told you they were crabs. They're not crabs, jackass. They're termites. We need to shut the gym down. Are you sure they're not crabs? Attention members, members and guests, guests. due to a routine fumigation, the gym will be closed for the remainder of the week beginning tomorrow. It will reopen again Monday at 6 a.m. Thank you and have a great day. Hey Mitch, what's up? Hey, I, uh, I just got here for the first time this morning. Great, great. Did you hear my announcement? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. I can't keep a secret, remember? No, everyone knows this. It's regarding fumigation. Oh, look, what's that? Matt! Now listen, the gym's gonna be closed starting tomorrow, so no one's gonna be using the gym. Oh, that's great! The, the, the gym could have a nice week off. That's nice. Right. Matt, they're crawling on me! Listen, point is, starting tomorrow, no one comes in. I gotta go. Hey, Jack, could you uh, sign this LOI for me? Ranjin, just the person I was hoping not to see. Come on, please. Can you just sign it? Yeah, uh, so I've narrowed it down to two options. Uh, what are you talking about? Okay, it's either going to be a game room or a home theater. See, now that Ed has decided to stay in Connecticut... So you've accepted it? Now that Ed has decided to stay in Connecticut, I am going to move into the master bedroom. Or my bed, well, Ed's bedroom, but, I mean, you get... Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. my old bedroom is now open to be anything that my heart desires. So, game room or home theater? I don't think you could fit a home theater. Well, I'm pretty sure I could. How do you even know the size of my bedroom? Well, I decided to give myself a tour during your Halloween party. Uh, I was up taking a... I went to the bathroom and then I just looked around. It's not okay, but look, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna put uh, some, some well-insulated Fabric over the windows, probably drop the screen from the... Why am I even telling you this? I think you should measure it first. I think you should go home. Okay. I'm in now. Hey, Matt, am I getting paid this week? Of course. Okay. Uh, by the way... Uh-huh? Enjoy your vacation. You earned it. You got me? I got gotcha. you. Right. Ooh, ooh. Going to bed now? Yeah, I think so. You know, come to think of it, I'm glad we don't have to fumigate the house. I'd much rather work out at home than sleep at the gym. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, we received a bill from the township for trash removal. Yes, um, we were just wondering, should we forward this to you or should we go th forward with this through reimbursement? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll send you the bill, thank you. Jack, what the hell? I finally settled on what I'm going to make my room into. What's that? A spa. 
Well, how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to expand the bathroom out into the bedroom. I'm going to make it this huge, enormous, like a palace-like spa. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. That's going to kill resale, though. You of all people should know that. Yeah, that's actually going to like triple the resale. Okay, which really doesn't even matter. Why the hell would I ever want to sell the place? I have my own spa. I can't believe you've been living in the gym this whole time. I trusted you. We trusted you. Seriously? You knew? Listen, I didn't want to lie, but his story was so relatable and heartwarming. Really? What's the story, Mitch? Um, <laughs> it's not important what the story is. I learned my lesson and we can just move on. Right, the story. Um... Uh, okay, listen. <laughs> He failed a drug test, and it wasn't his fault. His boss fired him anyways, and he, he couldn't afford an apartment nor a car. And he had to live here. Oh my god. I know, it's, it's so relatable, right? Yeah, Dave, it is relatable. It's your story, idiot. What? He failed a drug test. He got fired. He lost your apartment. Wait a sec, is this true? I'm sorry! I was scared! I, I had nowhere to go! Mitch, you should have come to me. I could have helped. That's what friends are for. You think of me as a friend? I did. Then I lied to you. The worst friend ever. Look, it doesn't even matter right now, Mitch. The fact of the matter is, we gotta find you a place to live. Let me go make a call, alright? I can't help but feel that I may have inadvertently lied to you. Mitch, I'm not a man of many needs, okay? It doesn't take a lot to make me happy. You sit me on a comfortable couch, beer in one hand, Phillies winning on TV, puts a smile on my face. But a lot has changed over this past year, okay? I, I find that my stress level is at an all-time high. Uh, my, my wants are, are still relatively low, but my needs my needs, Mitch, have grown exponentially. I don't want this spa, okay? I need this spa. So when Matt called me and said that you needed a place to live, I asked, why? His answer was that you were living in the gym and almost died from inhaling toxic fumes. Yes. No. No? No, that's, that's not the answer I'm looking for. I want to know why you need a place to live, not why the gym didn't work out for you. Well, there was this drug test. Seriously? Do I look like Dave? Do, do I have a, a plunger in my hand and a freaking rain cloud over my head? I want to know why you need a place to live. I want to know the truth. The truth? The truth. Okay, the truth is I never had a place of my own. I lived with my grandparents. Okay. Now don't get me wrong, I had a really close relationship with them. I paid the rent, and they let me live there rent-free. Okay, that sentence made absolutely no sense. I gave them money, and they let me live there rent-free. Okay, we're just gonna pass right on by that one. Okay. So, I lost my job, but I started spending a lot more time at home. I could tell it was kind of wearing on them. And then one day... Where, where, where's the supper? Mitchell ate it. We had two plates of food in there. This is the third night in a row. Every time we got the food, that grandson of yours, he takes everything we have. Now, now, dear, settle down. Watch your blood pressure. You know, you know, I, I've had with him. I want him out of here, and I want him out of here now. It just, it just I can't take it anymore. No food, doesn't take out the garbage, never cleans the car out. He's a complete waste. 
You're gonna have a stroke if you keep this up. You always did. It's your grandson. What are you gonna do? I'll tell her to send them out. Now. I've had it. Had it! So your grandfather kicked you out. Well, I got a call to come home, and I thought it was for dinner, but then... I, I've had it with you. We have a life to live, too. I bring food in the house. You, you eat everything up. I'm hungry. Make some. We're hungry, too. Oh. What, you had some consideration for us. Now look, I've had it. Control, I'll tell you something. I worked hard my whole life. He, 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 he can't get a job. He can't, he can't do... Oh. We took you in. We took you in. You don't work. You don't do anything. Control you don't do anything around the house either. Control look, yourself. I've had it from you too. I've had look, 57 okay. years, and now this this guy comes around, and he he's he's just terrible. He he has no consideration. I don't I don't want you here. You'll be my grandson. I'll I'll send you a card on Christmas time. You're kicking me out, Grandpa. I, I, out because I can't. No, Grandpa, don't kick me out. Grandpa, I, I, don't I, kick I, me I, out. No, don't kick me out. Thank you. Thank you. Mitch, your story has piqued my interest. I'm going to take it under advisement, and I will let you know by the end of the day. Please leave my office. Ranjan, I need your advice. I think you should just let him move in. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You don't even listen. It's just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Okay. Look, I feel bad. Okay? You, you, you don't think I feel bad? But I, I need this spa. Although, I mean, it could be nice to have a friend. What about Ned? Oh my god, I didn't... I mean, think about how this might affect Ned. He was so excited about the spa. No, it's a no-go. Mitch, Mitch can't move in. So how are you going to break that to him? I'll tell Matt tonight, let him deal with it. It's real nice. You go to hell, Ranjin. Okay, you take your sharp, cutting words and you go to hell. You, you think this this doesn't bother me? Okay, you don't think I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what's gonna happen to him? Okay, I wonder. I wonder. Okay. <laughs> Magnus, Magnus, you, hey, come here. It's good to see you. Okay, listen, uh, I got something to tell you, and you might not agree, but I thought about it, and, uh... I found him like this, walking along the highway, humming Celine Dion. <sighs> Mitch! You can live with me. That's pretty much it. Uh, furniture's all yard sale or hand-me-down stuff. Ed took all the things I had, so... It's perfect. I am going to get a snack. Excellent. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Have a good night, man. Hey. Couldn't sleep? Nope. Always be prepared. Always be prepared. If I loved you time and again, I would try to say how I want you to know. If I loved you, words wouldn't come in an easy way. Round in circles, I'd go. Longing to tell you 
but afraid and shy. I'd let my golden chances pass me by. Soon you'd leave me, off you would go in the midst of day. Never, never to know how I love you if I love you.